Thank you for ordering your internet service from CenturyLink. This video will help you successfully complete your own installation. But first, you'll need to sign your internet service agreement if you haven't already done so. It should have been sent to you at the time you ordered your service. If you cannot find it, please download the My CenturyLink app and follow the instructions to accept the agreement. Now, before we begin the installation, let's find a good location for your equipment. In order to ensure the best Wi-Fi performance, you should place your equipment in a centralized location. Look for an open space, not an enclosed cabinet or closet, and avoid placing your equipment near potential sources of interference, like refrigerators, microwaves, or mirrors. It's important to make sure that you have a power outlet and a wall jack nearby. If you do not have a jack where you want to install your equipment, please contact us to have your order updated to include the jack installation. Ideally, your power outlet should not be a GFI outlet or one controlled by a wall switch. This is to avoid accidentally powering the device off and interrupting your service. Now that you have a good location picked out, let's unpack your equipment. Inside the box, you'll find installation instructions, the C4000 device, an accessory box under the C4000. Open the accessories box and make sure that you have the following one green cable, one white cable, one yellow cable, one power adapter with cord, Wi-Fi information. Keep this sticker for easy reference later on. Now, let's connect your equipment. Please note, it's important that you do not connect your equipment to the network until after 7 p.m. local time on your order completion date, unless you've been notified that the work on your service is complete and you're ready to begin your installation. Take the power cord and plug it into the power port on the back of the C4000. Plug the power adapter into the power outlet. The front LED on the device will start flashing. Now, plug the green cord into the green port. Make sure the cord is firmly seated into the port. You should hear a light click when it's inserted properly. Next, we'll plug your C4000 device into the wall jack. Note, for customers with both voice and internet service, you'll need to install a filter at each wall jack being used to connect the device to the phone line. Please watch our video on installing filters for step-by-step -step instructions. When complete, you're ready for the next step. Plug the green cord into the wall jack. The DSL light should be flashing green while the C4000 is connecting to the CenturyLink network. If the DSL light is not on, you need to reseat the green cord into the green port. Once connected, the DSL light may flash for up to seven minutes before it turns solid green. When the DSL light is solid green, it's time to check the status light ring on the front of the device. By this time, the ring should be flashing blue. The ring will continue to flash blue while the C4000 is being registered. Once complete, the status light ring will turn solid green and your internet service is working and ready to use. Now you're ready to set up your Wi-Fi service. Please download the MySenturyLink app for your mobile device and follow the prompts for setting up your Wi-Fi. If you have any issues or questions, please visit our CenturyLink.com support page.